I think it's a real concern at the moment, the way that actually families across the country and here in Saatchi are being really squeezed by what the Tory Labour government is doing. The fact that the economy just hasn't grown, it's flatlined since the election. That means wages aren't growing, that means they're not keeping up with prices, it means the standard of living is really being squeezed. And on top of that, the deep unfairness, the idea of government that could cut tax credits for ordinary families and introduce a bedroom tax that is at risk of making people homeless at the same time as tax cuts for millionaires worth £100,000 for the richest people in the country. I think that's deep, deep unfairness. The question is, what is our alternative? What actually can we do instead? Because people say that there is no alternative. And actually, that is wrong. Because here in Staffordshire, you've got Labour candidates here in Staffordshire who are saying actually there is an alternative in terms of what we can do locally to try and help people. The work that the Staffordshire Labour Group has done uh, and Labour Party locally to say, look, actually we could manage to freeze the council tax for the next two years to give up a little bit of extra help to local people. There's more we could do to try out free school meals in this area to see what actually help that could make in terms of uh, children's health at a time when we know a lot of families are ending up having to resort to food banks and what help that could provide for local families uh, as well and local family finances too. Getting young people into apprenticeships. The Stanford Council has an apprenticeship scheme working with local businesses. That's about getting young people into jobs. And what we could do nationally to support that as well, get the economy growing. We've got to get the economy growing. Otherwise, we'll just see more and more of these problems for very many years to come. And to do things like have a tax on bankers' bonuses and put that money into a job guarantee so you make sure that everybody who's young unemployed and long-term unemployed is actually offered a job, a proper job. And yet, if they don't take it, then actually benefits will be cut because there is a responsibility as well. You've got to make sure you've got a job guarantee and opportunities there to go to. And also, a mansion tax instead of a bedroom tax, instead of pushing people into homelessness, actually have a tax on the highest properties in the country, but use that money for a 10p tax uh, that would actually give a, a tax break and extra help for families across the country who are really facing the pressure. And Edwin Aban is announcing today some extra powers for local councils as well that we would like to support, because we know that there are a lot of towns, a lot of towns here in Staffordshire, a lot of towns across the country where you've seen that economic problems, the, uh, the real squeeze and pressure on the economy with more and more empty shops because local businesses have been uh, struggling to keep up, but also certain kinds of companies taking advantage of those empty shops. The payday loan companies, more and more of those, more and more betting shops, more and more problems with the town centres ending up not actually having a real heart for people to be able to go back into, but instead, uh, these companies that are exploiting people and no power for local councils at the moment to do anything about that. So what Ed's announcing today is more powers for local councils to be able to take control of the high street and to be able to stop ever uh, kind of proliferation of payday lenders who are ending up uh, actually exploiting local families and putting people more and more into debt uh, rather than actually supporting local families and giving the economy a boost. So those are some of the things that we're talking about both nationally and locally. What we want to do is to be talking to you. We're going to be going round uh, table by table and going round actually talking to people, listening to you, to your thoughts and ideas about what we should be campaigning on here in Staffordshire, but also how we make sure that we have a strong campaign uh, here in Staffordshire to actually support local people to have a Labour uh, campaign, a One Nation campaign to support families through difficult times rather than just turning the backs, as which is what the Tories are doing both nationally and locally and leaving people to sink or swim. That's not fair, but it's also not good for any of us and it's not good for the economy too. Thank you very much and um, we'll get on and enjoy the discussion. We talk about some of the damages that the well, for example, we've seen the real problems with uh, people, families feeling that their living standards are being really squeezed, not being able to pay bills, uh, their impact on your wages are just not growing because the economy is not growing. And we've got a lot of people losing their jobs. At the same time, there's people also finding that tax credits are being cut. And the only people who are getting help from the government are millionaires. Well, you know, that's just not enough. That's not a good way to help. That's the wrong priority. Is we shouldn't be helping millionaires. You should be helping people across the country here and across Staffordshire who are really feeling the pressure. Okay. I think in Stafford, one of the things that people have seen a lot recently is the high street suffering. 
for shops closing and, and people struggling to, re to start up businesses. One of the things I hear a lot is that business rates are a particular problem and there are measures that you can look at to confront things like that. Well, I think you want uh, support for businesses, and one of the things that we've said is you need regional banks to be able to do that because we're not seeing uh, banks lending enough to small businesses, giving them the credit when they need it in order to be able to grow, particularly businesses across the regions. So that's why we think regional banking is an important way to be able to boost local economies and also to give councils this extra control when it comes to the high street because we know you've seen you know shops closing, local businesses closing, a lot of empty premises, you know, the heart sucked out of local towns, but that being filled instead by things like you know, more betting shops or uh, payday loan companies who end up exploiting local people pushing them more into debt and sucking the heart out of the high street as well. And that's why I want to give the councils more power to be able to say, look, we're going to put a stop to that. It's getting out of control. We want to support local businesses in our town instead. Okay. And the local Conservatives have been very critical of the, um, uh, of the pledges so far, particularly the uh, free school meals and the cost of that. I meet up on the council taxpayers on this. Um, uh, I guess what they're suggesting is that there's no proven and root for that one. Well, what Staffordshire Labour is saying is this could come from the health money that they've got uh, as a result of the, the changes that they made that they could put into uh, some trialling the, the free school meals in different parts of the county in order to see what the impact is on kids' health, what the impact is on family finances, and actually build the evidence to see what makes a difference to families who might be really struggling at the moment and are currently turning to food banks because they are worried about being able to pay the food bills and being able to put a hot meal on the table. And that's why I think this is it's a practical step uh, that Staffordshire Labour want to be able to take to see what they can do to support families.